Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Everett Kelly, the national president of the American Federation of Government Employees, here to tell us about how a government shutdown could impact government employees. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Everett, will government employees still receive their pay during the shutdown? We hopping right in. <laughs> Uh, no, they will not receive that pay during the shutdown. That's that's the issue. Um, they will not receive that pay. Now, uh, the last shutdown, there was some mechanism put in place by Congress to ensure that after the shutdown is over, at some point, they will receive uh, back pay for that. Okay. However, uh, you know, I, I must say, though, you know, the impact of not receiving a paycheck for federal employees could be devastating. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, furloughed employees? Would they be expected to work during the shutdown? Absolutely. Well, furloughed, furloughed employees would not be expected to work. They will be at home uh, locked out of their jobs, okay? However, the uh, essential personnel would be scheduled to work. So it'd be two sets of employees. That would be those that are essential, right? They will be uh, scheduled to go to work. The furloughed employees will just be locked out of their job for that period of time. So what happens to people's health insurance and other kinds of benefits during that time? Will they still have it? Well, they'll, they'll still have it. And when they get paid, eventually, uh, they'll have to catch all of that up. Yes. Okay. So back pay is a thing and it happens after the shutdown ends. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And where can employees find updated information during a shutdown? Well, we, 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 we uh, make sure that we have updated information on our website uh, for federal employees that we represent. Uh, you know, anything that affects them, uh, they will have their local leadership uh, that will be providing information that comes from the national office, or they can go directly to the website and get that information for themselves. Mm -hmm. And what exactly does the AFGE do to assist government employees? Well, we negotiate uh, contracts for federal employees. Uh, we make sure that federal employees uh, have a voice on the job, uh, such as, you know, talking about the shutdown, right? We're advocating uh, to Congress to not shut down the government because of the way that it affects uh, the federal employees. But I must add, though, that the effect is just not federal employees, okay? Because when you talk about a government shutdown, uh, it affects the entire country. Um, about 15% of federal employees work inside of the D.C. area. But the other 85% work outside of the D.C. area scattered throughout the United States of America. Uh, about the last shutdown was a partial shutdown. And it affected about 800,000 federal employees. Uh, the economy took about $11 billion hit as a result of that shutdown. Now, if it's a full shutdown, it's, the number of employees is insurmountable. And economic impact will be insurmountable. Mm -hmm. well, what about what about their PTO days? It, it, can, can employees use their PTO or vacation days during that time? No. They are completely cut off from their job duties and the benefits of that. They are completely cut off. And um, what steps should they take to ensure that they're prepared and informed in the event of a future shutdown? Well, and, and we've been uh, saying to uh, the member that we represent, you know, prepare, 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 right? Uh, put aside what monies that you can you know, uh, we, we try to save for a rainy day. We're saying do that. We're saying, though, call Congress, right? And tell Congress that a shutdown is unacceptable, right? We also know this. This is what I know. 60% um, of Americans live from paycheck to paycheck. That's the reason I said one paycheck could be devastating uh, for mm -hmm. some employees because some people live from paycheck to paycheck. And if you don't get that paycheck, you're looking uh, for money to provide uh, food for the family. Uh, you're looking for that paycheck uh, to make sure that the house note is paid or the car note is paid or just to get you back and forth to work. 
So it could be devastating missing one check. And, and I've said this all week long, and I've asked people to imagine a uh, payday coming, but no paycheck. Mm -hmm. And do you all you know, do any kind I, of assistance to, to help with that, to help people get their pay? Well, we, we, we provide resources for uh, people that may need uh, assistance. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, people, we, we do a, a, a certain things that uh, people can uh, tap into, and we provide that on the website. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Everett. No, the pleasure is mine. I enjoy yeah. being here. <laughs>